When did you realize that you're dating an idiot? The night I said that I thought I smelled gas, and they grabbed a lighter and struck it without hesitation. She refused to pay taxes, have a bank account, or pay for public transit. She told me, I change my name every few years so they can't find me. Like, she'd go to the government and change her name legally so the government couldn't find her. We broke up for other reasons, but this was the first red flag. When kids egged his car and he thought the best way to get the egg off was to use steel wool. She kept stating the big revelation of her story with Lord and Behold instead of Lo and Behold. I told her she was using the wrong word, but I was the idiot because you behold the Lord. Anyways, Lord and Behold she f 5 other dudes, so we're on a more than temporary break. My wife would bring stuff home that said refrigerate after opening. Open it, and put it in the refrigerator. She didn't understand that you actually have to pay what you spent on credit cards. Like the credit amount she had was supposed to be her monthly limit that just resets each month. 1990. We live in central Alabama. She told me that her and her best friend were going to Birmingham for the weekend. Didn't think anything of it, there's lots of shopping and things to do in Birmingham. Came over Sunday night to tell me how disappointed she was in the trip. They had driven through all of the wealthier neighborhoods in Birmingham, Alabama for two days trying to find a house that matched the gates to Ozzy Osbourne's house and never found it. He lives in Birmingham, England. She didn't know that yogurt and pudding were not the same thing. She thought it was like how the British call fries chips. She had been eating pudding and granola for breakfast for months and congratulating herself for being so healthy. She also baked baby Jesus a birthday cake on Christmas, lit a candle and took it outside. When the wind blew the candle out, she was convinced it Jesus that blew it out. Preheats the microwave. We were talking about dinosaurs and he was shocked to hear they were real. Then he proceeded to ask me if they really breathed fire. He thought dinosaurs and dragons were the same thing. Stacking cups. In the dishwasher. My ex wanted to start a business making supplies for baby showers. Her business plan was to sell everything below cost to increase sales. After I had explained numerous times that you cannot profit from a business that will inevitably lose money her reply was that I was the idiot because if she sold them cheap it would drum up more business and she would sell more that way. Where does the sun go at night? I was dumbfounded. Edit, she was in her early 20s at the time. One day they looked at me and said, we should make a trip to New York. I said I think that would be fun but we really don't have the money to fly there right now. It's not that far. We lived in Portland, Oregon at the time. New York is next to Canada, and Canada is just past Washington. It can't be that far away. He thought you absorb a gallon of water when you shower, so he didn't need to drink water. She told me Apple Music was bullsh because it only had covers of Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata, and not the original. I was dating someone who wasn't on birth control, we were using condoms. She also didn't want me to come inside her because they aren't 100%. I had no problem with that. Double protection from not coming inside and being wrapped up anyway. Sure. So I was finishing myself off after we had sex and I was getting moderately close and asked if I could finish on her chest. So I did and some of it also dripped on her belly, nowhere near the nether regions. She immediately freaked out that she might get pregnant from that. She was like, my uterus is right there. It took me 20 minutes to convince her that sperm can't burrow through your skin and get in that way. She kept asking, are you sure? Are you sure? This was a 30 year old woman. Oh and no, she didn't get pregnant. At least not in the time I knew her. When she was choosing random pills from the blister of a 21 active plus 7 placebo contraceptive, instead of following the arrows on the package. When she asked me, have you ever had your hair set on fire and then lit my hair on fire? We done. He could not find our country on Europe's map. The countries were written in bold, and the capitals too. When my ex asked me where they grew spaghetti. Eater, 
I cannot believe my most upvoted comment is about that absolute walnut. One night he turned to me and said, you're a bit of a scientist, I was taking biology in high school, he was in college for music. Can you explain how I can take frozen yogurt from the freezer, put it in the fridge, and it melts and I, already concerned, replied, well the fridge is warmer it's not cold enough to keep it frozen and he the asked, but it's still cold and I had to explain that there are different levels of cold. Somewhere along the way I said, cold is the absence of heat like darkness is the absence of light and he was so mind blown by that. I once dated a girl who legitimately thought we lived inside the earth. We were talking about SpaceX, back when they were just starting to get more public attention. I mentioned something about how it was cool we'll be alive to potentially see humanity reach for the stars. Her response was something along the lines of, yeah, but how do they get to space? Confused, I said, with the rockets. Like in the video. She replied with something like, yeah. But don't we have to get outside of the earth first? Dumbfounded, I asked for further clarification. She goes on to say, in a tone that suggests I am the idiot here, we live inside the earth, so how the f do we get out so we can reach space? I then inform her, we live on the outside of the earth. That's why you see open sky and stars, and the sun, and not more earth above you. She then laughs and states, if we lived on the outside of the earth, wouldn't we just fall off? Still, as if I'm the idiot. My jaw dropped. I responded with a simple, gravity? The atmosphere? To which she says, oh yeah, that? Haha. <laughs> Whatever, how was I supposed to know? I asked if this was a joke. It wasn't a joke. She thought we lived in the earth up until that moment. Where exactly in the earth? I don't know. I'm afraid to know. I was speechless. She told me to never tell anyone. But we broke up years ago. I think it was for the best. Ask your partners whether they think we live on the inside or outside of the earth and reply to this to let me know. I'm curious. I've been bearing this weight alone for close to 10 years. I'd love to know if there are other, inner earth dwellers, unknowingly roaming the surface. My ex-wife. The doctor said her test came back positive and she said, does that mean I'm not pregnant? I knew at that moment I was in for a long ride. <coughs> Calls me at work because her crumpets don't fit in the crumpet tray under the toaster. Crumpet tray? Had a look when I got home. Clearly labeled. Crumb tray. <coughs> I asked my ex-girlfriend to marry me. She said, yes, that was when I knew. Married 25 years now. What a beautiful dope she is. Doing a fun fact about me icebreaker in a group and his was, I've never read a book. When she told me, she doesn't believe in so-called professionals. They're just normal everyday people like me. What more could they know? She was the, my dad is a heart surgeon so I'm basically one also type chicks. Every few months or so I reflect on how grateful I am that she never got pregnant. Edit, just to clarify, her dad definitely was not a heart surgeon. Not even close Mayo. But if he was you wouldn't hear the end of it with that chick. He's a Catholic, so I asked him where he thought heaven was. I'm also Catholic. He said there was the sky, then heaven, and then space. I asked him did NASA go through heaven on their way to space and he said probably. He also thought that if you were pregnant, that you still had to use contraception. Or you could get pregnant again, and again, and again. For example, you fall pregnant in February, and then again in March, and again in May, and you just deliver them 9 months from conception. He's an attorney with a 3.6 GPA law degree, and masters in law, is French, and bilingual, practicing law in Ireland. Somewhat academically smart but otherwise, questionable. Eater, I asked him to feed my fish once. He put the food on top of the lid of the tank and couldn't figure out why they couldn't access it. After her third, business opportunity turned out to be another pyramid scheme. We didn't date long but knew each other for a while before that. I liked her for her, work hard, get paid attitude. Turns out the hard work she was doing was costing her way more than she made, and didn't realize it. 
she didn't want to watch the original Avatar movie, Blue People, until her uncle told her that it was based on a true story. I asked her if she meant that it was a futuristic version of Pocahontas, but no, she thought that it was somehow based on a true story. Then asked if I was calling her uncle a liar. Follow up questions, like asking if she really thought we waged war against an alien society, went equally poorly. We were 18 years old for your information. My ex was scared of hedgehogs and convinced himself they could jump over a 6 foot fence like a cat. She got thrown out from a bar and nearly arrested because another woman complimented my shirt and she was convinced that meant she wanted to bang me. The fool would bang on my dashboard and scream the name of a certain restaurant whenever I drove past it. After almost getting into a wreck twice, I asked him why he was trying to kill us. He said he did it because it was his thing. He never rode in my car again. The day I told my girlfriend, I think I broke my toe, and her solution was, to yank on it with all her might. It was gout. When I asked her to hand me a kitchen knife and she threw it at me, and that's not even the stupidest part. When I tried to explain the basics of handing someone a knife, or pair of scissors, she refused to accept that what she did was wrong or unsafe. It was suddenly apparent that she couldn't possibly ever admit to being wrong. Edit, it was an underhand throw. When I overheard her complaining I was too worried about money after she financed a 30k car with an insane interest rate while making $15 an hour. When she said she loved nothing in the world more than Greek mythology, even got a degree related to Greek mythology from University of Arkansas, but had no idea who Prometheus and Achilles were. I'm going to throw myself under the bus here because I think it's funny, but I used to think horns in cars only had so much air to use so you had to use your horn sparingly and only when you really needed it or it would run out. I feel like someone had to have told me this while growing up. I gave my girlfriend a gift, a box with something in it, and after she opened it and saw what it was, I told her to check it again, because it's gone. I don't know why I said that, I think I was joking to confuse her or be silly or something. But without opening the box, the gift was still in there, she started screaming and ran to the other side of the room, believing that I had just performed dark magic or something. She later told me that she believed I was a witch or a demon when I told her that I made it disappear. We were having an argument, although I can't remember what about, when I very calmly asked him to explain what made him think that, and he said, I hate arguing with you because you always make me realize I'm wrong. The day I learned that the Underground Railroad was not, in fact, a literal Underground Railroad. Edit, I misread the prompt and thought I was supposed to describe the moment I realized I'm an idiot, not the person I was dating. Please forgive me. I'm an idiot. She would end almost every sentence with, you know what I mean, not as a question, but as a description for something missing. There were sentences like, he's not an a-hole, but he's a, you know what I mean, can you get me the thing, the, up, uh, you know what I mean, yes I get it. But I don't get the, up, uh, you know what I mean and so on. No. I didn't know what she meant, as most of the time there was hardly any context. Maybe she didn't either. She worked for a specialty decorated cookie shop at the mall. Like where you get those dinner plate sized cookies with, get well soon or whatever written in frosting. She texted me a picture from work, proudly showing me a cookie she had decorated for a customer. She was legitimately excited to show me her creation. I had not previously seen any of her masterpieces prior to this. Not only did the artwork look like a 3 year old's finger painting, but it said, Conrad Doolittins, which aside from the obviously bad spelling, she had clearly not even planned out the spacing in her head first, so it said, Conradu across the whole cookie, and then, in tiny letters up the side, Latins. She thought it came out pretty well. She was about 30 at the time. I'll be honest, I broke things off shortly afterwards because of that cookie. I didn't actually date an idiot, I attempted to. I matched with a girl on Tinder. After minimal small talk we set up an afternoon date at a small pub in the city that had just opened. She told me that she didn't know where that was so I. 1. 
sent her the address, and 2. Gave her explicit directions telling that it was on Fake Street in between this street and that saint now this street is one of the most known streets in the city and apparently she was from the city for years, so there is no way she didn't know where it is. She kind of said whatever and I thought that was kind of weird. I had even remarked to a friend that this person might be pretty stupid but who knows. Anyways day of the date comes and she has an appointment before the date that ends up running late. No worries, I tell her I'll meet her at the bar when she is done and that I'll just be there watching the Blue Jays game while I wait. Almost an hour goes by and she finally messages that she is in her way. I remind her the bar address and she says again that she doesn't know where that is. So I send her a map pin even. Her appointment was maybe 6 minutes distance away and 20 minutes later I get a phone call saying she doesn't know where she is going. I asked her where she was, she was only 2 or 3 blocks away so I tell her to turn north. She explains, what? Now this what was not a which way is north, but what is north, I honestly am not sure she had ever heard the word before. At this point I couldn't give 2 f if she showed so I just repeated myself, north, go north she stammers for a second and then says, f it I'm going home. And that's when I successfully failed to date an idiot. When he suggested that we should have a shared banking account after only dating less than a month. She was struggling with money and being able to save. I came home one day and she had a new 40k car in the driveway. She purchased it without even discussing it with me. She essentially sentenced herself to having no savings for the next 5 years when we were trying to save to buy a house together. Briefly dated a stupidly beautiful Thai guy. Very chill. Loving, sincere Buddhist. It's been years and I'm not super clear on what he meant, but he was going on saying something about generating good karma by doing good deeds. So that's cool. I approve. Then he tells me he's gone to the Asian market and bought a cooler full of live fish and released them into a large local lake here in North Carolina. Species of non-native fish and frogs, potentially carrying pathogens. I actually cried out when he told me. He was baffled that I should be upset and basically said that I was unkind and didn't know what I was talking about, that fish are fish and it was a good thing. He said he's done it several times before. I tried to explain about invasive species, bacteria, viruses, food chains, etc, but he never could grasp it. I still wonder if he introduced something terrible. Stupidly beautiful and stupidly stupid. An ex once asked. In all sincerity, do people who speak other languages think in English? What? Well all my thoughts are in English and I assume we all think the same way. We were 22 years old. This was not a keeper. She needed to move for work and I didn't. I once asked my ex to start boiling the potatoes for dinner about 20 minutes before I got home so that they would be close to ready for me to mash up as the side for dinner. I got home right as he put them in the water. He had to call his dad to ask how to boil potatoes. He also, a month later, argued with my dad on the best way to replace a 98 Honda Civic alternator. My dad was a master certified Honda technician in the late 90s early 2000s, specializing in cars and minivans. My dad very much knew what he was talking about. We were homeless, living in a hotel and both had covered so we were off work for a week and paid. He got bored so he bought an Xbox and a few games with the last of our money, knowing that the next paycheck wouldn't cover the cost of the room and food. We had 50 cents left after I paid for the room and for a whole week we had only 5 packs of ramen, 2 cans of soup, and a box of pop tarts. The realization was cemented when I got pregnant and he wouldn't stop buying weed. He was spending all our money on weed and we had to move out of the hotel back, onto the street. He wouldn't let me spend money on food or a drink even when I got so dehydrated. I almost went to the hospital because he needed the weed for his anxiety. When he finally dumped me because I decided it was time to find a shelter to go to because I was sick of sleeping on concrete while pregnant, I cried for a few minutes then got my ass into a shelter. He's still an idiot but I'm choosing to not be one anymore and so better for me and baby.